What's up guys? I uh, just finished up wiring my twin cam swapped FXR here. Figured I'll uh, go over a little bit of the wiring here because I personally couldn't find a ton of info on it and uh, just had to go as I went. I ended up going with a Thunderheart ignition setup and uh, an M unit. So wiring diagrams down here for the Thunderheart. This is super simple. You can pause and screenshot it if you want. Um, but it comes with the Thunderhearts when you buy them. Most any aftermarket ignition is going to be similar to this, but it's a seven wire hookup. The only difference between this diagram and what I actually had to do is I had to uh, cut the switch power coming off of red here that goes into the ignition module. And uh, I had to tee that into the M unit. So that's right here. So you cut that red wire, which I have coming into here, and you put it into lock. So this is my switched power here for the bike. When I hit that, power for the bike comes on when the breaker is activated. The wire goes into the lock system, which unlocks the MO unit and gives power to the bike. So hit the breaker there. Hit the switch, and it cycles through, gives power to everything. So now my lights come on up here, tail light, wiring comes on there. Pretty simple. I wired everything into a breaker panel instead of doing fuses, just so um, if I, for whatever reason, pop the breaker, I can reset it. I don't get stranded. I don't have to carry fuses with me. Main power from the battery goes into here and everything comes off of that. So one goes to the battery, one goes to the M unit to power the M unit. Super simple. And then it's just system by system. So you have like, I ended up using the auxiliary ports for my daytime running lights. So as soon as this is powered, as soon as I hit that switch down here, uh, my headlight and my tail light has power. Uh, I'm not running a starter switch. I'm just running one of these starter buttons. Don't have a clutch basket or anything in there right now, but that fires, that starts the bike. Ignition has power. It's the little red wire here coming off. So that's that red light there, ignition. That's your uh, power coming in as well. So everything here is super simple. Um, like with your headlight, you're gonna have two wires for one being daytime running light, one being your high beam, uh, and then you have a ground. So all the grounds tie in down here. I have the section of the chassis sanded down and uh, use dielectric grease just to seal it up. All the grounds come off there. I have a chassis ground underneath the bike as well, which I'm gonna use for the, uh, the voltage regulator. It's the only thing that I don't have completely hooked up yet. I'm waiting on a plug from a buddy, but uh, it goes in off the stator right here. Uh, and then you have two wires that come out of that. One goes to chassis ground, one goes, I'm gonna wire it back in into the breaker panel. It's gonna come off the breaker panel in here. Super simple guys, don't be afraid of it. Really easy to wire Harley up. Most of them are just two wire or three wire setups. Brake light, same thing. M unit makes it super easy. You have your red trigger come off of the brake section. These are your inputs and these are your outputs. Grounds come down here. So your output for your brake goes here. Your switch comes off of that. So I made a harness down here. One's your ground and one goes to the switch uh, for the brake input right here. Input brake receives the signal, output brake goes to the brake light, activates the brake light. Same thing with my coil pack wiring. These are just some Amazon three plug setups. Your red is your power for coils, yellow is your front cylinder fire, and blue is your red cylinder fire. Green wire is your tack. I haven't hooked that up yet. I have a tack for it. I'm just waiting on getting a plug for that as well. Um, this is all just like Amazon sheathing, Amazon heat wrap, Amazon plugs, but they're water, they're waterproof, weatherproof. Works pretty good, man. 
Most important part really when you're doing this is planning your wiring. Um, if I was a little bit smarter beforehand, I could have done the brake signal wiring here and tied that into my crank signal wiring here. Instead of having the two looms coming up, I could have just tied it in, had this come out here and had one loom. There was that and for my headlight wiring as well. I could have ran this down. This is for the headlight. Simple little connector. Could have tied that into the coil pack wiring as well. Instead of having two looms, it could have had one. When I originally wired it, I was doing it system by system. So I wired the ignition system first. Then I wired the uh, lighting system and the switches for that. And then I wired the uh, charge system last, which isn't completely done. I just have power and ground hookup for that. A lot of guys will want switches. I uh, wanted to go with a simple, super basic setup so it's easy to hook up. Don't have any real failures. My lights come on automatically and I have my high beam on all the time. So I don't have a switch. I didn't have another button. I wanted the bars to stay clean. I didn't want anything sitting on the bars. So That's about it guys. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments section down below. But uh, Good luck, man.